Okay, happy Friday, everybody. Me and John over here, we're at the Habits. And this is actually his first time eating here. What's funny is that this fucker got confused with the Habit and Five Guys. He thought that the Habit was near Costco at Hayward, but he was wrong. And then he had to drive all the way back here <laughs> because this is where it's actually at in, in the Union Landing. Okay, so I just went to the Dave's Chicken line because my dad was wondering uh, when or like how long the line is. And then this fucker over here placed my order even though I wasn't done ordering. So this is like only some of it, but we're waiting for my order. And so he had to pay again. So I got the I got the original Impossible Burger and got these uh, fried chicken bites. And I'm gonna be waiting on my sweet potato fries and my tempura. And also, I ordered a shake. So how's your day been? You got a lot of food. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I'll be really impressed if you eat that all. The thing is, I had a big breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. And you wanna know something? So, uh, I have this uh, vitamin supplement. Sometimes it's called emergency. No, you know what I did? It's basically like a powder. You'll put it in your water and then you'll mix it and then it kind of has this like fizzy, mm. yeah. I put it in Activia, in Activia yogurt. I was kind of curious what that would be like. And like when I put it in, it immediately like, I started, so I put it in, I mixed it and then it started fizzing out. Like it started to like, uh, <laughs> like a volcano? Yeah, yeah, it started yeah. to erupt. And I like, I immediately had to like put it in. And then after that, I legit put like freaking, I put like, a bunch of fruit, I put like, I cut a, a protein bar mm -hmm. and then like top it off with cereal and granola oh, bar yeah. and then like I tried it, it's not bad actually, <laughs> it surprisingly worked. So if you don't know, me and John actually met, he, uh, wait. me and John actually met, we were in the same hip hop class mm -hmm. in the East Bay and then we actually of course hanged out for the first time in round one because uh, during like a Thursday, I had an after school activity. It was like for a club. You guys can see the full vlog. I can just put the icon <laughs> on the top right. Yeah. So yeah, we hanged out at round one. Then after that, he got the idea to like, no, fuck it. it was just, he never tried to have it. And then I didn't know when to do it because like, we think we tried to do it spring break, but then like I had other stuff to do until like, I had my work schedule for this week. And then I worked at 12 in the morning at 12 p.m. And I was like, oh shit, yeah, let's make time for that. And then out of nowhere, I was like, I never tried doing a mukbang before. And I was like, oh, let's try that. And now we're here. Now we're here. <laughs> Dad allows guacamole to my burger. Or sandwich, whatever you consider it. Wait, what? Dad allows guacamole. You're honestly eating too fast. I actually learned it's not that good to eat fast because it can lead to an uh, acid reflux. And I actually saw this video from this one YouTuber where he basically explains it helps to chew your food at least 30 times and to not have like any, like, to not drink any water in between it because basically at that point you're just relying on water to like swallow your food. How about you tell yourself? Tell oh, about yourself. It's been a while since I eaten sweet potato fries. Wait, what? So you had them before or at A long time ago. So when you said sweet potato fries, why are you talking about those uh, uh, small square ones? But those are countryside or country style or whatever. Wait, what restaurant did you try to have? I think it was a long time ago at, uh, was it IHOP? Oh, at IHOP? I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to remember. You don't want this house. Are you I, talking about like hash browns? No, no, not hash browns, no, I was thinking not. No, they were actually sweet potato fries, that's what. Oh, from this restaurant back at uh, San Jose, Johnny's? Was it called something like that? Oh, Johnny Rocky? No, no, just Johnny's. It's kind of like a fancy version of IHOP. Wait, so what high school did you go to in San Jose? Overfill. You know the one on the, that has been on the news multiple times? Over for what? Stabbing, gas, gas attack. Oh. Oh, fuck. What's up? What, what happened? No, that was my sister. She's just saying hi. I was like, nah. What the fuck? <laughs> nah, whenever she starts like that, I know it's just gonna be something like, I'm bored. Entertain me. Yeah. I think I went to like Tracy once during the pandemic, that was that one time. Uh, my brother, mm -hmm. my uh, older brother, who's the middle child, he was practicing for his driver's test. 
and we we had to like all go with him and then like after that practice we just like ate at this uh, Japanese restaurant but how did he go to Tracy just to practice there isn't any open parking lot around here well the thing is apparently Tracy is like the easiest one you can do since it's not that busy that's what my dad claims and so we he literally had to practice at Tracy since that's when he was gonna that's where he would take it and the first time he actually didn't pass but the second time he did I mean, I took mine somewhere like around uh, Santa Rosa. Santa Rosa? Uh, Santa. Oh, it was like a city or town near uh, near San Jose. Because apparently a lot of my friends took it there and said, oh yeah, it's like easy. And it was. It really was. Wow. Um, another friend took it there. He got a very strict uh, driving instructor or test or whatever they called him. And he just did one little mistake and he and she failed him. Oh my god. You know what that mistake was? What? When he was, uh, when he was gonna make a right on a light, but the red, but like he was still able to do that. The one thing he didn't do, he just looked to the right. He looked to his left and everything, but he just didn't look to his right. When he was going to make a right turn? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. He was like, it was a little mistake. Like, I could understand, like, yeah, she took off the points for that, but like, she just felt it for You're that. You're just too strict, man. DMV is like strict as fuck. I made a mistake when I was doing my driving test, and then my instructor was like, Hey, school, school, everybody makes a mistake. I'm not gonna tell you for that. Damn, what the fuck? Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay, thanks, dude. Yeah, that's like, yeah, his I'll, life. Yeah, I was like, I'll let you uh, try it. Here, I'll let you just make that up. Just keep going, and if you do pretty good, I'll pass you. I was like, okay. I said, my mistake wasn't that major. It's just that I saw some uh, pedestrians going into their car. I thought they were coming out just to walk across, so I just stopped. But then they didn't. They just, they just went into their car, and I was like, you didn't have to stop. They weren't going. I was like, oh, sorry, I didn't. Oh, know. okay. Yeah, but like, yeah, he understood that it was just a minor mistake. See, I took my uh, driver's test like two times already, got both of them. <laughs> the first one uh, that I did, an Indian woman, she was the one that was in with me driving. And like, if I remember correctly, like, the uh, reason why I didn't pass was like, I didn't, I didn't follow the speed limit. Were you going too much or too little? I was going too little. Mm. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah. And then like the second one, I had an Asian guy, he was with me. And then the uh, reason why I didn't pass that one, I think uh, we were going to take a right. Mm -hmm. And then apparently I didn't like, I forgot to look at my right. Mm -hmm. I'm not made for driving. Earlier today, I teach you one of my friends how to drive. Just came back for um, for the weekend. She has some time off. She has a busy everything so hey, to catch up and all and then we went out hang out and then um she was telling me how her brother was teaching her how to drive and i was like okay show me oh my god and i just took it to this abandoned parking lot like, okay see how you are and she didn't have her learning learning from with her nope she had nothing oh my god she almost uh she almost bumped my car into the curb mother <laughs> and i was like Shh. i was like oh you're getting kind of close to that curve you're getting pretty close i hope you're gonna stop and she stopped just like a little i heard it just tap against the curb i'm like Ooh. See, that's the one thing about driving, like, we're in the future now, we're in the 21st century, there's more people driving than there are people walking. There's a lot of things you can't control, mm. like, there could be some dumbass in the back who's just like all, all of a sudden like speeding and then like just hits your rear, or like some drunk ass motherfucker, that's worse. Yeah. There's a bunch of crazy shit that's not in your control, which is like, I think that's one of the most dangerous things about it. I think more entertaining. More entertaining. Bro, go to, uh, do you go on Reddit? Not much. Not much? Go to r slash idiots in cars, and it will like question you, why the fuck do these people have their driver's license when they make the dumbest mm. mistakes? Uh, sometimes on YouTube? I just on, on Reddit, or on Reddit. I, I discovered the first time I watched uh, Jordan Marin, Captain Sparkles is a Minecraft YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know Captain Sparkles. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he too, he's like big on cars, he has like a, Ford GT and all that, and he even he reacts to like uh, uh, R slash idiots in cars because like he too questions since he's a mm. he likes cars he likes driving a lot like why the hell do these people why do we have to coexist with bad drivers <laughs> this is like the reality of it. My friend, three weeks ago, I was with him, and we can go uh, to his park. Me and some other friends, we're all in the car and everything, and just driving down the street. He, he sees a nice car to his left, and he's just there staring at it for a while. 
Was he in the car? He was driving. Oh fuck, no, no, no. I just no, he just sees a nice car just parked on the side. He's just driving straight. And I'm, and I'm like, okay, that's cool, nice car. But I'm not really much in the car. So I look to in front of me, like, yo, this guy's kind of direction to like, uh, you know, sometimes in streets, where like they're straight and you go on to the left and in between there's like that triangle thing for the light. Um, kind of like a cement thing, like a little, but there's that. And he was gonna make a right, but like he just made a way of turning right. He just looked at that car, so he just heading straight to that Did car. Did he turn to the car? No way. No, no, no. He was looking at the car, and he's, he's on, the car still was going straight. And I looked in front of him, he's like, "Yo, did this guy get turned before he hits that?" He's like, "Wait, he's not gonna turn, dude. You're about to hit that." I'm like, what? He turned, oh, oh. and like, there's like a solid ten seconds for him to react or, or anything. But he's just there, frozen, like, hmm? mother and then, like, fuck. Oh my god. And just hits that, like, the whole. Problem. He hits the whole car. He hits his car onto that, like pavement pool and the thing is like his radiator is broken the whole front part he's missing uh, his bumper fell off oh my god dude well not bumper uh the front bumper if you don't want to talk about I i'll actually tell you the story like my first time experiencing like a car crash <laughs> in high school like right before i was approaching high school as a freshman i was taking this uh summer program okay you're about to throw up no i just burped oh i just do that too I don't it looks like, like you're holding your burp yeah no I, that's not, I don't like to burp out loud i just like burp into my mouth that sounds dangerous uh i was taking this summer program like right before i was becoming a freshman mm -hmm. uh at the moment i was just like waiting for my sister to pick me up mm -hmm. and then once uh once she did pick me up she drove me home but then on the way back we get rear-ended like we felt a little bit of a shock and then we had to like go to this we had to like turn to the right and go to like a little neighborhood like on the side of the road mm -hmm. we saw like uh who crashed our car and uh it was apparently like a it was a female in and out worker she had her whole suit and everything yeah if it was a bigger truck if it was like a size of a truck like that momentum would have killed us but luckily like her car the one that crashed us it wasn't that big i think it was just like a like an was, average size car yeah i think so and then <laughs> another one I witnessed this uh, car crash from afar while I was shooting a YouTube video. This happened during November. It was during the I Wish I Was Strong T video. There was this old guy that was driving and this happened near like the theater hall. He was trying to park, he turned, but then he accidentally hit like this brand new Hyundai that belonged Ooh. to a that belonged to a, a female teacher. And so like, yeah, I went to sit, I then like came up to him and I was like, oh my god. And then uh, he, he was like, he's gonna like help with paper, like insurance or something. And then the woman, who's the owner of the car, came. Then she saw it. And then the, the guy made, made sure that he was gonna like, you know, paper and insurance and everything. Mm -hmm. he, like, he asked me for like a paper so he can like get contact information and shit. Mm -hmm. And then after I saw that, I think I was done filming. I, I was done filming now. And then I just like went to my next class. Shoot. But my permit actually expires on uh, June 10th. Dude. I'm gonna like take like my third one, like uh, a week before that on a Friday. Hopefully you don't fail. Then you gotta take the written test all over again. I actually did uh, fail like the written test like two times, but then the third time I actually passed it. And here's the thing, I took the first two times I took it, I took it in just one day. Yeah, you, you could do yeah. that. Yeah, and then after like the two tries, I decided to like just go back. And then like a few days later I went back mm. and then I passed. And then nowadays, um, the way I'm practicing now, I'm literally just driving myself to work with my dad with me. Oh. Yeah. But even today, I drove myself here uh, to, to, to work. I remember when I had my permit. After a while, after my dad saw that I was a pretty good driver, I was still driving after without him. I still just had a permit. So if I ever got pulled over. Oh wait, so you still have so you were you um so you would even drive with your permit but without like a supervisor. Mm -hmm. I think that was like two, three weeks in to having my permit. Yeah. No, that's just sketchy. Yeah. But I was a decent driver, so it wasn't a problem. No. Would you uh, sometimes uh, stop since you live in San Jose, do you sometimes like stop by the round one in San Jose? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. But not that often. It's like the prices there aren't that good and... The prices aren't that good there? Not really, in the claw machines though. Yeah, Sometimes, rarely they have good prices and that's when I would go stop by. Like even I was thinking to myself, is it better to like buy, buy an actual like, what, a GoPro? <laughs> For like the full price versus like uh, actually winning it? Uh, it really just depends. If you're good at getting tickets, then yeah, wouldn't it? But if you're not that good, then... Oh, where are you going after this? Oh, uh, really? 
I just I really don't got much plans, honestly. I do have to like uh, go to a PCM practice. Like at nine, they actually they told me yesterday. At nine? Yeah, at nine p.m. Jeez, to that, eleven. That's kind of late. Jesus. Yeah, you should see the show, honestly. <laughs> get to buy tickets though. Oh, it's a show. Yeah, it's, it's kind of dope. Since like the pandemic, the last two like PCNs they did was like online. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There was a they would do the they would film the performance and then do like edit and shit. Mm. With COVID dying down, or at least I think there's a new variant now. <laughs> uh, probably, I don't know. Yeah, I think yesterday I saw on um, the news that there's a new variant for some sort. Yeah. I'll be honest, I lost track after the, the, the fourth yeah. one. Uh, looking up at the news is just too much to handle at this point. Take a break once in a while. Stop going on Twitter <laughs> and being a douche on there. <laughs> uh, sometimes I just look on the news to see what's the whole Ukrainian Russian thing. See, like, it, if Russia finally gave up and we're about to get nuked, or, or you, or is Ukraine has fallen. I mean, I'm aware of it, but I'm just like, I don't know well, the exact details. I think it was that Russia took over the, the capital city, but then they pushed them back, or they kicked them out. So they're trying to take it over again. And this is like the third time like, we were this close to getting a World War III. I feel like it may happen. This may actually be the trigger. Maybe. Cause like the first time there was word of like a legit World War Three coming was like back in 2019. Oh, and I that was like my junior year of high school. I thought you were talking about during the Cold War time. I mean, I also wasn't around. You think I had a time machine? Uh, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, sure. I was in my first period class, and they were like, and my teacher told us that we could possibly be almost coming to like a World War Three. Mm. I think like it was because of China or something. Oh, what happened during 2019? This was late. This was late in 2019. So this was like uh, August. Or like September or somewhere in the fall. Yeah, I don't really remember that. I'm not sure. I feel like it does ring someone with bells, but I forgot what are the actual, you know, details of it. Okay, we're like 30 minutes in, and I still haven't finished this, I still haven't finished my sides yet. I already finished everything. <laughs> yeah. Hey, okay, you want to talk more about yourself? Okay, well, I am a, I'm a 19 Hispanic male, single. I like Long Beach on the walk, and uh, I read a lot. That uh, what? my now every uh, white girl's uh, dream boy. What? <laughs> oh no, no, right. I gotta say that uh, I'm into Harry Styles and shit like that. Also, I hope y'all can hear this. I don't have a microphone for God's sake, but yeah, it's like this music playing right now, and it's okay. proportionally loud. You can get copyrighted, bro. What's that copyright? You two be like so stupid with the copyrights. This is insane. Like, of course, like even the bigger YouTubers are like just calling them out on that. Like, yo. Why the fuck do you, uh, what's with the bullshit copyrights with this, a random song that just ha just so happens to be playing in the background? You know what, the first time that's happened to me was, uh, back in 2019, like, I uploaded a video, and mm -hmm. there was a song that was playing in the background, and then, like, when I uploaded it, YouTube, <laughs> YouTube fucking flagged it. And so then I had to, like, edit, I had to put a separate, I had to put a different song over it. Basically silence the video clip and just do that. And yeah. upload from there. So yeah, that's like one struggle for like up and coming YouTubers. YouTubers? Yeah. There was even one too that was kind of extreme. Mm -hmm. uh, There's this one YouTuber that did that would do like uh, talk about anime and stuff. Yeah. And they would upload like he would uh, upload anime anime clips and like you know talk over it. Yeah. But like Toei, who, uh, who's the company that does all the yeah. animations? Toei Animations. Yeah, Toei Animations. They flagged like over a hundred of his videos. I'm gonna end the mukbang here. Oh, that's not so finished. You stop. Hey, you still barely even even half of your burger. I'm almost done. A little bit over half, but like, I just say you're probably gonna finish in two hours. Yeah. I also know you actually eat that much food, honestly. Well, yeah. I, I I think I started eating like that much so, like during pandemic, but I didn't gain like I didn't gain like so much weight compared to like other people that sadly had. Yeah, I was one of those people. Wait, how many meals do you have in a day? Is it the classic three or? Uh, two. Oh, I eat two too. Yeah. I used to have three, but then I was able to like, drop it at two. Yeah. I think it was yesterday, I only ate one. Oh yeah, usually two, you know, some snacks, and then some snacks in between. I don't snack. Yeah. I want to do fuck. But like the snacks, I mean like fruits, veggies, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. But now, yeah, during the pandemic thing, like, Coming into 
my first semester in East Bay, I think I was like 180-ish. And I started working on like midway to the semester, stopped because I went to break because I wasn't getting drive all the way here just to the gym. I still was able to maintain my weight during the break and then went back to it the moment the second semester started. Now, good progress, I am like it. The high 150s, like 159, 158. Is it muscle or just fat loss? Uh, Did most, you gain muscle? Yeah, I gained muscle. But also, a lot of it, I had to lose a lot of fat. Still trying to lose a bit more. Wow. And I almost got abs. That's the good thing. I, I plan to like uh, dorm for like the next semester. Really? Yeah. Wait. But I also heard like if you're an RA, you get a free dorm. You know what? If you're an RA, the resident assistant. Oh yeah, shoot, I need to sign up for that. Yeah, you get a free room like if you get it. You know what, I'm gonna ask my advisor about that. If I actually would do want to do that next semester. Yeah, me too. Because like I was able to like this this second semester, I was able to find like what <laughs> what I want to do now after like being in it, like the Pasa Club now. So and like the PCN, it's it's like similar to like what I did back in high school when I did like leadership and skip performances. Sister. My PCN is like me redeeming like uh me not having a skin during my senior year since i yeah I feel you. here's the thing like we were about to do another uh skit it was such a last minute preparation we prepped it in march and then we were gonna like do it on april or you know we we're gonna like film it and then like what drop it in may i think but i was like so fucking anxious i'm like yo we would have to go like 110 percent if y'all want to do this and of course we didn't get to oh. tell them that. Oh. Oh yeah. Have you uh, looked when you have to do your, um, your shopping tracking for class next semester? When you have to enroll? I, uh, I started some classes already. For my major, I think I need like 17 units to be a full student. Oh, so I didn't know that a lot of students are using this uh, website called Rate My Professor to choose their classes. Bro, oh wait. Uh, my uh, sister, when she was in uh, SJSU, she. She used that website before. I don't know if it was called that, but it was something like that. Yeah. So like I, I was just there chilling with some of my friends in, on Monday, and then I saw that I gained their classes ready, and they went to this uh, website where they searched up the professor's name, and then right there showed like how good, like I'm a five star rating type of thing. And I was like, wait, what is that? It's like, oh, that's where you rate your professor. That's where you check your professor, and if they're gonna be like a, a terrible teacher or good. It's like, wait. <coughs> We could do that. It was surprising because I was just like picking class whatever fit with my schedule and met my requirements. That's it. I was just like kind of. I didn't know you could actually check it to see if your teacher was gonna be good or bad. Want to share any other stories? Like we can go up for an hour. I don't mind. No, let's see. So you know how we were talking about driving earlier. During my first semester, I went on a, on a Tinder date with this girl. This is in college, right? Huh? College? No, not not in this college. No, but. No, the thing is, uh, she was uh, near San Jose, and we were just on a date, and she tells me how she doesn't know how to drive, but she's learning. I was like, okay, take the wheel. Oh, my And literally, Lord. and like, here, this just like, which, uh, this, the beginning of it was just us going to get some boba, and then we were just chilling, and like, that just led to her, I was like, okay, we could do this. Oh, my. She scraped my car. Scraped my car. Oh, uh, she scraped. Did they have a learner's permit with her? No, she had a learner's permit. Oh, like, okay, so see, but I'm not not out with her. Okay. But she told me she had a learner's permit, and she has driven before. I was like, okay. And she said she was good at it. Go beat on the. No, street. but did she bring her learner's permit with her? No. The date. What What do you think? I didn't expect it. I didn't. We didn't plan that we were gonna do that. It just happened. Huh. But like no, and then uh, so yeah, she was telling me like how she was good and everything. I was like, okay, prove it. I, I probably should not ask her to prove it because she scraped it like on the back of my car there's like a little part where just like put stickers because I covered up that scrape oh my god but they're starting to fall off like yeah you can see that there's just a scrape right under my rear bumper oh my god and I was like oh like I once she scraped it I was like I was like and, then, and that was the end of the day <laughs> no no we, we continued but like the whole time I was just there going like damn really regret this choice you know, we actually had like a full conversation like after our round one trip. Let's just say, uh, like, of course it wasn't recorded. Yeah. But let's just say if I were to record it, I would have heavily censored it. <laughs> yeah. 
Probably wouldn't go a minute without just a feet. <laughs> Got any funny day stories? I'm just gonna focus on you, Mark, for the point. Oh, uh, I have a idea. Hey, what's up, your burger? I'm gonna try not to talk as much. Because I'm honestly about to go up right now. Oh. Maybe that's why I'm not so much here properly. Something I'm trying to say. What is things that I'm okay with the world know? Like, I obviously can't tell them that I. That I get like intimidated and aroused whenever I stand next to a tall woman. So you want to put that out? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I hate going to white communities because of this. <laughs> There's so many tall white women. Like, I stand next to them. And I'm like, like in my head, I look, I peek for a second. I'm like, oh, I feel so short, but yet so. What's a right word for it? Like. I can't use love for anything like that because it still seems a little not right, but like somewhat right. Excited, yeah. I'm, saying. I'm so excited. <laughs> I mean, you want to talk about like tall girls or like specifically uh, Asians? Like, uh, I'm, you know, you know Squid Game, right? You seen Squid yeah. Game? You know that one tall, tall girl in with the short hair? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah she's tall. Hmm? Yeah, I think she is. So it's up her height. What was her name? But just search up Squid Game and it shouldn't list the, act the actors. Rachel Wood? That's not Rachel Wood, that's not Korean. Oh yeah, it's this one. Uh, Jung Ho Yun. That one. I think that was, that was the one. He's searching up the girl from Squid Game, uh, Jung, Hong, Jung Ho Yun. Oh no, she's a tall for a woman, but like, yeah. she's not that tall. She's literally my height. 5'9". She's 5'9". She's my height. She's literally the height of me. You see, I saw picture. I see pictures of her. Like, I saw a bit of her Instagram, and she's like also a like, like an ambassador for Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Like, like I saw pictures of her. I visualize her as tall, but I, I, like I guess like maybe for like I guess like the, just the other other male actors were kind of short, so maybe that's why. Um, my sister. Uh, so she like made a Netflix account for like our entire family, or like for, she has one like for my dad, my mom, and then one for like me and my brother. Hey. She like forced my parents to watch Squid Game, <laughs> and then like after that, like uh, my dad was just on a serious like Netflix Netflix binge, like he even watched Cobra Kai. Bro, here's the thing, like he works at home, right? Yeah. He doesn't really watch it, and oh. like my sister would kind of, my sister would call her, call him out on it. Oh, uh, does he just have it like on the background while he does things? No, he, no, no. So he's so he's working like, and he like he has a, he has his uh, computers and everything. And the TV is like right in front of him. Oh. Like uh, we, we, our dinner table is literally just right across from the TV. Oh. From our oh, living room. Oh my God. Okay. Acid reflux, I think. <laughs> oh. Okay. But yeah, like uh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if uh, if he's like invested as my sister claims when he's watching those shows while he's working. Because for me, Power Rangers is on Netflix. Yeah. It's on Netflix, like officially, or at least the new season is. They removed all the older ones, except for a few. Like me, I eat, and I'm and I'm actually watching it. I'm actually my one being invested. Yeah. Like my dad, my dad's just like, he's just basically like watching, and then working, watching, working, watching, working. Me, I'm just watching, and then I'm not eating, but I'm still watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So literally that. I'll be honest. The only Power Rangers show that I enjoyed was the Power Rangers uh, SPD police one. Oh, really? Yeah, that was the only one I enjoyed. I'm not gonna lie. The other ones were good. Maybe the Dino Force one was pretty good. But which one? There's like four. The fourth one is the current one. Not the Dino one. Fury. I think it may have, may have been the third one. Uh, Dino Charge. That's what it's called. Probably. One of the Dino ones that I. Yeah. Oh, because the, the very first one, the, the very first Power Rangers was Dinosaur Game. Yeah, I don't think it was the first one. So like, uh, and also the the original Power Rangers movie, the one that's like the oldest one. Oh, the '95. Yeah, that that one's pretty good. <laughs> that was that one was good for its time. Yeah, that but was like I funny. still have a, I still have like a heart for the 2017 one. Uh, that one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I actually saw it. Uh, it's, it's not bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Still had like a lot of that Power Rangers, like. Except like you know, it was more grown up and more mature. Oh, yeah. Even like mature themes and stuff like that. People didn't dig it as much. Which I do find kind of sad. Like, 
you know, fans can be somewhat toxic. Yeah. And they could like throw so much shit to a movie like that. I feel like it just needed more backflips, you know? More flips just in general. Because like that's what a, like the original Power Rangers movie they just did like a lot of unnecessary flips and that's what made it kind of better. Yeah, like um I like, used a fair argument to say that like uh, it's too acrobatic. It's overused. Yeah, but like yeah, it's still but like it's just made it good. Like how like, I even made I even made like two videos of me perform, yeah, performing the stunts. <laughs> yeah. It was like that's what I loved about like the original one. Like they'll be fighting some phone just to get distance, they'll do like three or five back flips just going backwards. <laughs> like like I think I think one was enough. I don't think you'd have to do like five more. But like you know I still made it good. Hello, we have ten more minutes. Any more you want to say? I hate that they took off the a lot of my little pony seasons from Netflix. <laughs> You're a brony? No. No, maybe. I mean there's no shame if you are. There's a show I watched a lot when I was a kid. I learned about the power of friendship with them. Hey, hey, that's fair. Friendship is magic, bro. Mm -hmm. Dad also kind of had to do my sister's love this. My what? My sister's, or um, my sister right now, she used to love that show. So she always told me to watch it with her. So it's either hate it or love it. I don't know. Wait, so you have a mixed relationship with the My Little Pony? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just gonna stop it there. Talking about eating, it's kind of difficult for me. This is my first mukbang I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just text to him, like, we could just order something like small and not do the extreme of Mikado avocado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then what I kind of order is like somewhat big, if I had to be honest, but. Yeah. Kind of big. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna like focus on eating. We're just gonna cut the mukbang there, and I'll probably show some clips of the PCM practice that's gonna happen at 9. <laughs> Okay, with that, that's going to conclude today's video. <laughs> so I just got done with PCN practice, and now I'm about to go home. Uh, today was pretty fun. It was nice talking to John. Uh, it was actually nice doing that mukbang, minus the fact that I legit almost threw up today. I said I, I said I wasn't going to go too hard, but they wanted me to do some b-boy shit, and look what I did, and somehow I didn't throw up. So that's a nice. Actually, we took like the Tums pill before I like got here, and somehow that helped the acid reflux. <laughs> Seriously though, it somehow helped. Okay, hopefully in the next mukbang, I actually do it properly and not have something to drink in the middle of it. Make sure you mukbang safe, and by safe, I mean don't eat too much and try to throw up. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, and goodbye!